This is non-calculator question number 12 from SAT practice test 1. College Board tells us that a line through the origin passes through another point and has slope 1 over 7. And they ask which of this, these points could be the other point. One of the easiest ways to do this is to sketch a graph in the xy plane because we're familiar with slope, hopefully, and we know that a slope of 1 7th is a positive slope and it's shallow. So if I look at 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, and 2, 4, 6, 8, trying to get about the same scope, slope vertically and horizontally. Let's take a look at choice A. The x coordinate is 0, the y coordinate is 7. The line through the origin and choice A has infinite slope, which is not 1 7th, and it's certainly not a shallow positive slope, even if we don't find the exact slope. 1 7 would be this point. The line through the origin in this point has a very steep positive slope, so that can't be right. 7 7 would be here, and that line through the origin has a slope of about 1, where actually exactly one, where this was a slope of 7, and then the vertical line was an infinite slope. Let's try one more point. x equals 14, y equals 2 is here. The line through the origin and through that point has a shallow positive slope, so that would be our correct answer. If we wish, we can also calculate the slope. Your slope is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 x1, y1 is the point 0, 0, the origin, and x2, y2, if choice D is correct, would be 14, 2. So y2 minus y1 is 2 minus 0, x2 minus x1 is 14 minus 0, and that is 2 over 14, which is 1 over 7. So choice D is in fact our correct answer. College Board often asks questions addressing slope, so it's worth being comfortable with slope. Come back soon for my next math video. With math, there's always more.